The quickest way to calculate the false positive rate is to subtract 1 by the specificity of the test. However, if you do not know the specificity, then you can calculate the false positive rate by dividing the number of false positives by the total number of people with the condition. To help us understand this equation, we are going to imagine that a group of people are being tested for a condition. These white squares represent individuals without it, and the red squares represent individuals with it. Since the false positive rate only takes into consideration people without the condition, we are going to focus on the white squares. This yellow line represents a cutoff level for a test. To the left of the line, the test returns negative, and to the right, it returns positive. Now let's take a moment to look at the sample table in the top right corner. When calculating the false positive rate, we only need to use the column on the right. This column is used for people who do not have the condition. In the top row, we have the false positives. In the middle row, we have the true negatives. And in the bottom row, we have the total number of people without the condition. After counting the white squares, we find that there are 25 false positives, 86 true negatives, and 111 people without the condition. Now all we have to do is enter the information into the equation. In doing so, we find that the false positive rate is 25 over 111, which is 23%.